Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we're gonna be doing another shirt, another full sublimation shirt, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so for those of you that follow me, you know that I owe Lola. Uh, one of my followers a, a shirt a Raiders shirt and today that's what we're gonna be doing I already printed the uh, the front and the back of the shirt now the reason why I want to show you this one is because you know the the way that most people do it they sublimate they fully sublimate a t-shirt that's already made this one is cut and sew this is gonna be black one of the things that I like about doing it this way and the printer that I'm using right now is that the blacks are true black and you'll see it. Um, so I'm going to walk you through, uh, besides the printing, I'm going to walk you through the way that I actually do the whole thing. I know you already saw a video where I put a, a, um, an entire shirt together, but I didn't show you where I cut it. Like for example, right now, I'm going to be cutting the, uh, the, the fabric. That way you can see that so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, let's let's get to it as you can see I got the uh, got the fabric right here and all I'm doing is I'm just cutting a piece that is big enough to cut uh, to cover the uh, shirt that's all I'm, I really care about right now and uh, I'm not really worried about the excess because again right now we just want to worry uh, we just want to cut enough fabric for the for the shirt Okay, so now some of you are gonna ask me, Juan, why didn't you, uh, why didn't you use the laser to cut the, the, uh, the pattern? Well, one of the reasons why I didn't use the laser is because I'm using a paper that is 24 inches wide. This shirt is actually 24 inches wide. If I cut the laser, well, I'm sorry, if I cut this with the laser, I don't have enough bleed to to cover the, the fabric. That's why I'm doing it this way because I don't have an extra an extra inch or so. I could have printed it on, on, a, on another piece of paper, but the, pe the paper that I'm using right now, it's 24 inches wide. So that's why I'm, I'm doing it this way. Okay, so on my last video, I was explaining that whenever we go to sublimate the fabric, we have to make sure that it actually stretches the the, the right way or the orientation is the right way. For example, this fabric stretches this way. If I go to stretch it this way, it doesn't stretch. It'll stretch just a little bit, but this way it stretches a lot. So whenever we go to, whenever we go to cut the, um, the fabric, we have to make sure that it's gonna stretch, you know, this way, and this way it doesn't stretch. So, that's what we want to be. We want to make sure that we're cutting it, for example, this way and not this way. Because if I was to cut it this way, then your shirt is going to be very uncomfortable. So this one, I have a small piece, and usually that's another reason that I don't use the laser because this fabric doesn't or that um, uh, doesn't fit on the laser. It's too it's too wide. I have to cut it. Um, I will have to cut about 10 inches in order for it to fit on the laser so I, I can just cut it by hand um, So yeah, let me let me do that real quick Okay, so this one right here as you can see this is gonna be a Raiders uh, shirt so the sleeves are gonna be gray and the front and the back is gonna be um, black so Remember the orientation that I was telling you the color has to be this way as well as the uh, shirt so that's what I'm gonna do right here making sure that actually let me cut this so I don't waste that much material okay so as you can see we don't have to be super precise because we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting so there you go now we have all of our pieces ready to be sublimated now we can take it to the uh, Heat press and sublimate everything and then we'll just cut I'm gonna cut it by hand again we can have the uh, sewing machine do that but I'm gonna cut it by hand so it's just easier all the um, material cut and ready to go so um, all we gotta do now is uh, sublimate it I got the press at 3 
375 and I'm going to be pressing for 45 seconds. So right here we want to make sure that we don't have any wrinkles. Okay, so I'm just making sure that everything everything uh, fits fits in there nice and neat. And then uh, we're going to press everything in, in one single press. I mean the sleeves and the collar. And again, 375 for 45 seconds. For some reason, I got a spot right here on uh, one of the sleeves. Show you, maybe you can see it. There's a Y spot right there. I have no idea why that is. But I got a small Y spot in there that I didn't sublimate it correctly. But there you go, this is gonna be the sleeves. Okay, so now let's print the front and back. We're gonna do the back first. Doesn't matter which one you print first. Okay, so as you can see, this is gonna be the front and the back. Obviously, this one's gonna be for the front. And this is gonna be black, and then the logo has got white and gray um, for the Raiders colors. And you'll see how good this black actually looks on this printer. It, it, it looks amazing, it just looks really nice. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And that's gonna be the back of the shirt, obviously. And uh, again, one thing I like about this is that the black is like, it's super dark. It's very, very nice. So see, I don't know if you can tell on the, yeah, you can, on the video. See how black it is? I mean, the it's so dark. That's what I like about this ink. Both the front and the back and the sleeves are already printed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the X's. And I'm gonna cut it by hand and I'm gonna cut real close to the uh, printed area. I didn't show you this on my last video, but you get to see it, you get to see it on this one. Okay, so I know some of you are gonna ask me, why don't you just let the machine cut it? Well, I could do that, but um, I like I like it this way because I can get a lot closer to the um, to the uh, to the machine when it goes to sew it. Also, if I let the machine cut it, and if I make a mistake, you're gonna see a white line on it. Okay, so we have everything cut and ready to go. So now we're gonna go uh, sew them together. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the sleeves, uh, which uh, this part right here will be the, the armpit. So that's where I'm gonna start. I'm just making sure that both of my pieces lined up to, um, correctly. And I'll show you how much I'm cutting. See that? So it's just a, about a sixteenth of an inch. So there you go, we got one sleeve. So that's it, the entire shirt is uh, sewn together. Now I have to do the, the color. So there you go, we have a neck. Shirt is completely put together so now we gotta do the hemming somebody show me a trick on Instagram he told me just flip the shirt all the way around and then sew the other way that way it'll lock it in place I was like man that is so brilliant shirt is done it's complete for a Raiders <laughs> for a Raiders shirt it looks pretty good let me put it on so you guys can see what it looks like once you are wearing it So again, this is what they call a raglan shirt. You don't have that seam right here. It goes all the way to the neck. This one looks like in the back. Not bad. It's actually a nice shirt. Very nice. <laughs> so a lot of you are gonna be surprised that Lola is finally gonna get her, her shirt. So there you go, Lola. It only took about two years, but hey, it's a nice shirt. So. Yeah, your number 15. I think that's the number that you told me to do. Your name, and again, your number 15, and the, uh, the ugly logo. <laughs> so there you go, guys. This is it for this video. The making of Lola's Raider shirt. <laughs> so I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, please subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. 
you don't have to hit the, the bell but I will appreciate it a lot if you guys subscribe to the channel thank you guys it was a pleasure like always if you have any questions like always you know drop a line or let me know in the comments below if you have any questions thank you for the tips that you have given me uh, uh, when it comes to sewing the shirts I appreciate it a, a lot as you can see I'm barely learning I never used these machines before this is actually the third shirt that I actually put together so and I think it looks pretty good not bad <laughs> not bad for a rookie so thank you guys it was a pleasure like always I will catch you on the next one thank you guys God bless you and I will see you later bye bye now you want a close up look 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 look, look. close up Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, Lola. Look at that, look at that. Lola, you're never gonna make, um, you're not gonna be able to make this shirt look this good. <laughs> I make it look good. I make any loser look good. <laughs> See you later, guys. Uh, somebody's gonna hate me for that one. <laughs>